Hi guys, this is Lachette from Scarlet Moon Creations and I'm back with this new video. It's a tag video. Um, the tag is My Witchy History and it's by, oh, the tag was created by the Songs of the Wind here on YouTube and I heard about this tag last year when it was created. Um, and I watched the video by Katie Flowers, and I've been dying to participate in this tag. Um, I just couldn't find the time amongst all the other videos I had planned last year. But I'm getting to it this year. So, the um, my witchy history tag is um, three parts. I believe it's books, music... And then something like environment I myself might go beyond that at least with internet uh, stuff but we'll see so the point of this tag is to talk about the things that I guess kind of introduce you to being a witch or witchcraft and um, the first topic is books and books are a huge part of my life. Reading is something I probably do 50% of the time. Um, of my day is filled with reading at some point, always, and books were definitely fundamental to my starting down this which you wrote. So um, the other thing I liked about this tag is that um, it's pretty relaxed. I mean, I would take my own spin on things anyway, but it is very relaxed. So, fair warning, all of my books are not going to be uh, witchy or even pagan. Um, some of them are. Let's say, like, half of them are, and the other half are fiction, pretty much, because that is where I started somewhat. Um, or not Hey, hello, this is Editor Fairy Lushette here, um, letting you know that this video, I decided to split into two. Um, the first one is this, which is non-fiction books. The second one will be all the fiction books. I did film all of that already, but I didn't like how I just stumbled and rambled my way through the fiction books section so I just cut it all out um, so my next video for my witchy history will be fiction books and yeah that way this video is shorter and not a hot mess thank you for watching here's the books so my first book is not technically a book it's in book form but um I have sorry I'm trying to make sure nothing falls over I have always been uh drawn to growing things uh like plants and flowers and stuff like that but not necessarily the actual growing of them uh, though I am getting into that, or I have gotten into that in the past couple of years, but uh, what you can make with them. So my first book, and I'm trying not to drop anything, is, uh, 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 sorry for the weird noises, The Complete Guide to Natural Healing. So, like I said, I've always been interested in, uh, growing things in natural things but natural remedies has really been like my thing for a long time and this is actually a series of books um I got randomly in the mail once I started getting my after I got my first job um one of those things like oh um, it's like a subscription service, so you get a packet with a couple of pages for the book, or books, 
every month or every two weeks or something. I don't know. It's been so long. I don't even remember. But I was getting this since high school. Um, ran, uh, ran a random set of pages. So um, even if someone else has the other, the full set, I don't know what pages I don't have. I don't know where it ends or not. But I have a decent amount. Um, and it includes uh, 13 sections. So medicinal plants, therapeutic teas, aromatherapy, floral essences, homeopathy, herbs and spices, natural beauty, nat nature's remedies, your garden pharmacy, ailments and treatments, self-healing techniques, gentle diagnosis, and alternative therapy. So, like I said, 13 uh, sections here. And I still use this to this day. Um, so like I, I was showing you the medicinal plant uh, page for Woodruff, Woodruff, which I start to use a lot during this time of year for Beltane um, and like just making main wine and other things. Um, it, it includes all of this type of information, various ways you can use it, administrative parts used. Um, plant facts, things like that, um, and I have made a bunch of recipes from this book. I have uh, done a lot of herbal studying from this set of, it's, it's, I guess it's more like an encyclopedia than anything, but, um, yeah, I double check because there's really no, like, uh, authenticity for this these sets of books. There's no um, guide in the back like where they got this information. But um, a lot of it seems to be general herbal knowledge and um, natural healing knowledge. But it's also uh, the nature's beauty section is where I first got the idea of Sprouting creations and creating um, things like body scrubs, bath soaks, and um, body oils and stuff like that. And so yeah, that is the book that I've had the longest that um, probably so has the, the longest influence on my witchy path. So from there, we're going to segue... Um, kind of wanna, I'm just gonna go in order as they're sitting here because the bigger books are on the bottom and I don't want to drop everything. So first off, The Art of Aromatherapy by Robert Tisserand. Um, again, this is like the complete guide to natural healing. I um, got this book from my former boss and um, I still use it as a main reference. Robert Tisserand is one of the foremost uh, experts in essential oils, so I use this for my business all the time. But um, he gives a lot of history for the uh, most popular essential oils, uh, and um, within that in is included uh, things like mythology I forgot the word for a second um, which I really appreciate and I kind of marry the information in this with some of my more uh, pagan like books but yeah it was another just another you know gateway for me like what type of witch am I? Definitely a green one. If you're not getting that, um, this will help you. Cunningham, Scott Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. And I love this book. It, as you can see, is well used. Um, I also have uh, Scott Cunningham's um, Wicca, a guide for a solitary practitioner, and I think that was the first witchy book 
I bought or which you focus and then I got this one because I wanted to try stuff so there's that another Cunningham book I really like Cunningham I don't have as many of his books as I want but I want more um one of the issues with him though is he doesn't cite sources <laughs> which is not great but it forces me to do research which helps me retain information better with it in the kitchen in Cunningham's encyclopedia and again like I feel like Wicca kitchen witchcraft is kind of an offshoot to me of green being a green witch like now I've gathered my ingredients and, and like doing magic in the kitchen for myself for my body for my family um and occasionally my friends and my coven um is just instinctual to me um i don't put tons of thought into it uh less thought than i do like other potions and yes i'm considering like food and drink to be potions um other more magical seeming potions um i'm using the same ingredients i would normally use to cook but now i have that extra knowledge of their magical influence um and uh even some astrological correspondences so it's just putting a little extra oomph little extra oomph into what I would normally do anyway and yeah so these next three books are like the um other than the two Scott Cunningham books the top books uh for me like what I got when I was first start when I first started buying books so first up I have the everything Paganism book. Yeah. And it gets better from here. Um, this goes into the very basics about um, the roots of paganism, neo paganism. Wiccan beliefs, celebration, tools, and practices. Asatruar beliefs, holidays, tools, and practices. Druidic beliefs, holidays, practices, and tools. Uh, Vodon. Santeria, shamanism, and a couple of other neo-paganism traditions, like um, several reconstructionist uh, types, dilemma, faith, and a cup, a little, little sprinkle of Native American tradition, which doesn't necessarily fall under the pagan umbrella, but um, and it goes into a bit about magic. Uh, neo-pagan sexuality, uh, declaring yourself, taking a name, rites of passage, uh, personal deities, being in the closet, uh, explaining your beliefs, legal concerns and your First Amendment rights here in the U.S., um, going to public gatherings and how to deal with that, and ways to find groups online and in person and, you know, some... Uh, group manner type stuff and yeah I mean at this point I don't really need this book anymore but I still have it because of reasons this um, I didn't know like I really liked the whole idea of witchcraft but even early on I knew like this was all like slapdash so um, from the fiction perspective it was just like a bunch of things thrown in whatever sounds good and makes the story roll not a bad thing but just a thing so i wasn't sure if i wanted to be a witch exactly and then did i want wicca or not and i've done both at this point next up we have the idiot's guide to wicca and witchcraft yeah and like the last book i've studied this from cover to cover I've read this from cover to cover and it's a decent intro to look at witchcraft by two witches so that was the one thing I liked about the idiots guides books um, all written by people who do the things in the book so what's 
in this. This is honestly very Wiccan focused. Um, but there is, like, they do differentiate between Wicca and witchcraft. Um, so you get, you know, more history, what it is, what it is today, um, deity, you know, the god, goddess, lord, lady, uh, what you need to do to be a witch or, um, to join somewhere to be a witch, tools, rituals, um, doing rituals where to do rituals rituals um casting a circle then we go into like more specific wiccan things celebrating sabbats bringing entities creating um magical things magic powers of nature the pyramid of the witch astrological timing uh, making things like potions powders uh, poppets, candles, spells, that kind of thing. So, not a bad book, right? And lastly, oh my god, I can't believe it's taking so long. We have The Idiot's Guide to Astrology. Um, I'm including this because other than the herbal stuff, astrology was something that I was like, I think this might be interesting. Um... I didn't like astrology before all of this because of the fact that um, it was all I heard was very like horoscope focused things and uh, my son's line is Scorpio so you can imagine all the things that child me would hear from all these gross ass men on the street. Um, not on the street but um, all these gross ass men and boys who when they find out I'm a Scorpio or they hear on the grapevine that I'm a Scorpio because you know us Scorpios we're sexual beings and um deep in all that other nonsense but I'm very interested in the occult and mystical stuff as you can see so this is still a book I reference it's a really good one-on-one book um Sorry. So, yeah, this is a really good astrology book for uh, the basics. So, things like um, your what astrology is, some famous astrologers. Um, it's very natal chart astrology focused. Uh, so, what can astrology do for you? And it talks about the horror folks. And then, like, okay, what's an astrology chart? How can you get an astrology chart? Um, that kind of thing. We, then we start talking about the signs. There's tons of sections about the signs, the planets, the, um, the houses. We get a bit about aspects. And um, then we talk a little bit towards the end about... Um, interpreting your chart there's lots of celebrity examples as well to help you so i really like that um calculating the charts uh and houses things like um calculating like i said interpreting the chart and using astrology to map your life so there's a little bit about transits um and progressions uh and yeah, it's just a really good intro to an astrology book. And since there are so many signs and symbols and definitions and various combinations, I I still refer to it from time to time um, when I forget stuff. So that was my really long-winded talk about my witchy path in books. Um, these are just the, the intro stuff, the things that like push me in a certain direction. I might do another video regarding books I came across later, things that influence my path. Actually, I will, because there's another tag I just remembered that, um, has to do with that. So yeah, um, depending on how that video goes, I might do yet a third video, uh, really focusing in on, um pop culture and how it's influenced at least my pagan and witchy path and um 
yeah so thank you for watching this book if you would like a reading from me or uh, all natural beauty bath and beauty product text the Etsy link down below you can find me on Instagram as well um, and I'll see you guys in my next witchy history video which is supposed to be music thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>